All right, so if you have a class that has disappeared, uh, it happens when sometimes you share with people and then they clean stuff up and they go archive because then they hit archive and it goes away <laughs> and they don't realize it goes away for every teacher, not just themselves. So don't despair. If you go to your three hot dogs on the left here and scroll all the way down, way down, uh, and come, I'm going to actually get rid of that tools here, and you go down to archive classes. They're here. <laughs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. So people have done this to me a lot. Some are intentional because I write to delete, so I know I want to delete them. Um, but yeah, this one's a version to share, and I've shared it with somebody, and then they've made a copy, and then they get rid of it. <sighs> so restore. Um, now, if somebody else has gone in and hit delete, we're pretty hooped. Um, but most of them sit in archived. So check in archive before you have a panic. Now the other place to look is in your drive. Um, and my drive's a bit of a crazy wild west. Uh, but in your drive, if you go to the folder called classroom, it has all your stuff. So anytime you make a classroom, it also makes a folder. So this is the other place to check for stuff. Um, but try that. I'm, I'm hoping they didn't go into archived and also delete because that's two steps and people don't really do that. But just so you know that this is a good way to recover stuff is archive classes or in your classroom folder.